Okay, let's see if this even works. Uh, hi, anyways, hi, my name is Clara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm staying at the Same Sun uh, Hostel in Hollywood, actually on Hollywood Boulevard. It's a really good location if you're a tourist. However, right now I'm sitting like in the most random spot uh, because like there is so much noise everywhere. There's a lot of people staying here and that is here. There's a lot of ACs going on, a lot of fans and stuff like that. There is basically no quiet place here. So hopefully you can like hear me kind of well and also i'm sitting by a window that leads out to or like facing out to hollywood boulevard so like i'm not sure if it's gonna be quiet but let's just do this so i will also link like any additional information that would be good to know like in the description box below and if you have a question like please ask them in the comments below so i'm staying at the same sun hostel on hollywood boulevard and honestly it's a very good location for like tourism what i would say it's close to like so many spots it is on hollywood boulevard so it's right by like the streets with the stars at the Chinese theater at the Rose Bowl if you want to go and see some concerts really good like touristy hiking trails and also so many clubs are here it's also right across the streets from like the Metro Hollywood and Highland station which is just one station away if you want to go to like Universal Studios so it is a really really good location if you want to do like the typical touristy stuff here in LA however if you're like me and lived here for a while like I've lived for eight years uh, and like experienced all of that it might not be the primary location that you want to stay in because like there's so much noise going on here like at all times during the day and the night since it is located on hollywood boulevard it is so much noise it's so much traffic there's so much people here at all times which equals to really noisy at all times you can also kind of notice that the people who stays here are very young touristy people and they can be very extra <laughs> And they're really cute because they're so excited about like being here and everything like that. In addition to that, like everything here in this hostel is very loud. Uh, the kitchen is very loud, like there's a lot of fans everywhere, there's a lot of ACs going on at all times, which is really good in the summer though. However, it equals a very loud hostel. And for me personally, it's not really something that I prioritize. I kind of would like my hotel or hostel kind of like a calm that you can like just retreat to after a full day out or something like that. It is kind of like nice to have like a calm, like quiet place and stuff like that. And that's not it but i would say like it's kind of like the ideal place for a few days like during the days if you want to do touristy stuff one thing that i really like though is that this hostel has like hardwood floor it's like the plastic or hardwood floors but for me that comes from like a country in europe that doesn't do carpet I don't like carpets, especially in hostels and hotels, like they can get really dirty. So for me, having like a hardwood floor, like non-carpeted floors is a plus, like it feels a lot cleaner. This same sun hostel is also a lot like bigger than the one in Venice. So their common spaces are a little bit bigger, but compared to like the amount of people that can stay here, it's not too big they also don't do recycling which i kind of think is like strange because like especially in la it's kind of hard to find like a hotel like a business or whatever that doesn't do recycling so that was like something that i kind of reacted to the rooms are also a little bit like strangely like planned i feel like they could have like utilized the space so much more because all the rooms have like really decent or like a really good like sized closets but it, the hostel hasn't really done anything to like utilize them if that makes sense but overall i really like this hostel it's clean it's like pretty spacious and it basically has everything that you need so not right now we're outside the same sun hostel here in hollywood and if you turn around you're right outside like the heart of uh hollywood boulevard and there's also the metro if you want to take the train somewhere too Here is when you come up from the very long staircase. Nice windows. And that's Hollywood Boulevard. And yeah, some rules, no visitors. And here you go into the luggage room and there to the common room and kitchen. And upstairs I'm guessing is more rooms too. And here is the lobby where you check in. washer and dryer um, and you basically book a time slot for two hours and that's ten dollars and then let's go look at the kitchen 
so here's hallway down there this hostel is actually really large so there's multiple floors and multiple like hallways with dorms too but let's go into the kitchen first so basically here's the kitchen and there's like the common room let's check out the kitchen first and here's the hours for the kitchen so here's the kitchen like you can tell it's very noisy because like the windows are open and that's hollywood boulevard but here's so some amenities seems like they have a mixer and a microwave like a refrigerator and some tables and a toaster nice good sink and this I love because honestly when you backpack and travel buying water here in America because you have to like buy like clean water uh, it can be such a hassle so the fact that the hostel have that so you can just like refill your bottle is such a convenience so this like really appreciated so yeah yeah this is pretty much the kitchen and they have an ATM here too that's great let's check out the view So it's literally on Hollywood Boulevard. Over there is a club I did promotion for for a while. So you're literally in the heart of Hollywood or Hollywood Boulevard at least. Okay, let's go. Like I said, here's the refrigerator. You basically should put your name, room number and checkout date. Pretty standard. And yeah. You can go out there too, but let's keep going this way for the continuous feel of it. Here's another hallway with rooms. I don't think that's for us. And here is the common room area. And upstairs to the rooms, we have a pool table, like a projector or whatever, and yeah, some a vending machine over there, mirrors. This is definitely larger than um, the one in Venice. So quiet hours, that's honestly appreciated. So you can sleep. Yeah, let's check out the view because you can sit here and work and basically look out on Hollywood Boulevard. Kind of cool. Let's see here. And obviously, don't go out on the little patio bank balcony thing. But yeah. I can imagine that this would be really cool for people who really want to do like touristy stuff here in LA. But yeah. So I'm in room number one and that's a mixed dorm 
with the six beds. Let's see if we can close this. So here's when you come into a little hallway and some hooks right there. And here we have some lockers for everybody. Let's actually take them off and see how they are. They're pretty spacious. You can definitely fit like a bag down here and some hooks here too. Cool. And then we'll go out here in the room. So here's two beds, a mirror. And then it's actually kind of a large room. You could probably fit more beds in here too. There's a lot of like dead space in here, but it's kind of nice that it's not, that there's a little bit more airy. Again, mixed storms usually smell a little bit. Um, but yeah, I took that bed. And here's the window. And also the beds, they put up like some, I don't know, protective plastic, I guess, or something like that. That's kind of like nice, so get some more privacy and this is our view over there is Hollywood Boulevard kind of nice to be a little bit further away from it however you can definitely hear like some kind of like ventilation system here so it's kind of noisy but yeah let's you can pull them off a uh, beautiful stain but yeah Hello. So let's check out the bed. Like usual, you get a sheet, blanket, and also pillow. And here, you have your little shelf, a lamp, and honestly, a lot of outlets. This is very appreciated if you want to, for example, charge your phone, headphones, camera, whatever, at the same time. That's a plus. So for whoever that might be nervous about staying in a hostel, right now I'm just like standing in one like hallway or corridor. So now standing in the hallway, there's a security camera over here and here. But if you turn around here, there's also one here and all the way over there. It's one too. So in my opinion, staying in a hostel sometimes feels safer because there's so much like camera um, surveillance. And I think statistically like people get murdered more often in hotels than hostels, so yeah. Now while we looked at the room and the woman's restroom, let's check out the premises a little bit. Like it's a really big hostel and it basically has like uh, rooms in the middle of the hostel uh, and then it has like rooms on the sides too so it's kind of like a square it goes in a square so if you go down there and turn to the left it's the lobby and if you turn it right it's the kitchen and the common room here on the first floor and the men's restroom is on the first floor too so basically you're walking around like in a little square kind of so when we come here we will turn and here's the restroom and same thing on the second floor like uh, if you turn around here it should be the woman's bathroom and yeah so here's the common room kitchen and if you turn down there that's the reception again so basically everything goes in a little square or rectangle I should say Staircase. So there's the luggage, stairs upstairs, and the lobby. And here we're going to the room. 
So the lower numbers are on the lower floor. So here's a private room. Here's the closet. Pretty simple. A little rod there. Yeah, here's the room. Super cute, it says TV. A little nightstand here. And also pretty nice view over a parking lot. I'm actually not saying that ironically. It is kind of a okay view right here. So nice. So this is a three bedroom. And this is nice and clean, finally. This is horrible. Here's where I'm staying the second day. It's a four bed, all female, female dorm. Here's where you come in, a little chair, window, a closet over there, two other beds, that's mine, and a little, I guess, common area, whatever you want to call it. The lockers are here in the middle. There's not really any type of view, to be honest, but that means it's quieter. Let's see. This little nook is a closet, and yeah, the lighting is not really working whatsoever. But there's not really anything in here. I think somebody's like storing something here though. So yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, but it's a pretty simple room. Nothing really special. Very strangely planned. Like honestly, if I would be the hostel, I would basically move this bed here and create more of a like useful space over there. So it's definitely like strangely planned. Let's see if we can get a little overview here. So now I'm outside the women's restroom. It has like this like <laughs> unique swinging doors, I could say. And one of them is open, so let's see. Oh, this is big, okay. Okay, let's start here then. So, I get, I'm guessing this is like the showers or something like that. I think so. I'm guessing you put your things in here and then take a shower. I'm sorry about the noise, like it's very noisy. As I said before, this hostel is located like so close to like the heart of like Hollywood Boulevard. So it's gonna be super noisy in this video. Oh, but this is nice. And you can put your things here too. This is really nice for being in a hostel. Nice. And some hooks, that's very convenient. Ooh, is this a double shower? Oh, it's out of order, I think. Never mind. But 
Nice. Okay. I'm trying to not to show myself because <laughs> I'm a little bit roughed up at this point, but then there's some mirrors here too. And let's go out to and hand dryers. Hmm. Strange place, but anyways. And I guess this is toilet. Toilet. Oh, by the way, but I realized that when you go into the bathroom, they have a beautiful um, bathroom art here. Let's go check that out the other one in the other stall. Let's go to the... I'm not sure what's left now. Mirror? Mirror? Oh, it's changing rooms, okay. I mean, that's kind of nice. And again, I'm not sure if you can hear me because of the fan and the noise and everything. But here's a blow dryer. Kind of nice that you don't have to bring that. And yeah. Okay, like I said, on the second floor, uh, right by the girls' bathroom, is the laundry room. Or at least I'm guessing this is the laundry room. Nice. And also like a little hangout area. That's kind of nice. I also think that's a water machine. Okay, so what's nice about this Samsung hostel is that they have a lot of more common spaces, uh, like this little random one too. Uh, the other one in Venice is very small, so it just has like the one small common room and it's very tiny. However, this hostel is bigger, so you kind of would figure that they would have more common spaces. They do have like unbeatable views um, in basically all of the rooms of the facility. is for my little hostel tour of the same sun in Hollywood. I really hope you liked it. Hopefully it helped you like make a decision or something like that. Again, I will leave all the additional information in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. And by the way, I have a playlist with a lot more like hostel tours of LA and also in other places too. So if you're interested, please like check that out. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.